for joining us and uh, honoring us with your presence and supporting this very important cause. I, I was learning just a few moments ago that the President also launched Beyond the Label 1.0 back in 2017 and he also opened Beacon Primary School uh, when, it first, uh, when it first started. So thank you very much, Mr. President, for supporting many causes. I also want to acknowledge uh, Professor Kevin Lim and Ms. Teresa Go, Vice Presidents of the National Council of Social Services. Thank you very much for the great work that you and your teams do. We also have Mr. Kwong Kim Mun, Chairman of Touch Community Services. Thank you very much for all that you do for the patients, clients, and families that you support. And Mr. James Fong, CEO of Jewel Changi. Thank you very much for this wonderful venue for this, for this event. Ladies and gentlemen and guests and partners of this important mental, mental health effort. Good evening and thank you for joining us here today for the Beyond the Label Festival BTR Fest 2024. Uh, the theme for today is Let's Get Talking. Uh, usually when people are referring to me, they don't need to encourage me to talk more. It's usually the opposite of what they ask me to do. But uh, that's because usually I'm not talking about mental health. It's inspiring to see so many of you gathered here with a shared commitment to enhance mental health and well-being in Singapore. Mental health continues to be a pressing issue. And we all know that it requires not just the whole of government to support this, but a whole of society effort to address the challenges, deal with the stigma, help our friends, our family, our patients, our clients. Last October, we launched the National Mental Health and Wellbeing Strategy, and it had within it a vision to build a more effective mental health ecosystem in Singapore, one where individuals with mental health needs can seek early support without stigma and receive help for their journey to recovery. The cornerstone of this strategy includes building upon efforts to normalize conversations on mental health, to improve mental health literacy, and to reduce stigma. The BTL movement is one such example of an effort like this. Recognizing a need to promote the social inclusion of persons with mental health conditions, the National Council of Social Services, NCSS, launched a nationwide BTL campaign in 2018 started the BTL Collective four years later. This collective, co-led by NCSS and TOUCH, brings together 34 partners across the public, private and community sectors and with the aim to reduce stigma associated with mental health conditions. We have found over the last year that individuals who've engaged in the Beyond the Label initiatives have a more positive attitude towards persons with mental health conditions. If they've engaged with the BTL initiatives, they were more willing to support their loved ones with mental health conditions, and they themselves were more willing to seek help should they have such a condition. All this shows that we are indeed making progress. And if you're working in this space, if you know someone who has these challenges, you know that more continues to need to be done. We continue to need to do more. Over our lifetime, one in seven of us, one in seven Singaporeans, over our lifetime, will experience a mental health condition. And so, encouraging an openness to dialogue about mental health conditions is crucial. Every, every time you have a conversation, you can potentially change your life. Sometimes we are going to be the ones needing help, and sometimes we, are, we can be the ones reaching out to provide support. A simple, how are you feeling today? How is it going? Just the willingness to open the conversation when you see that someone has some trouble on their mind, can open the door, can build a connection, and it can nudge someone towards seeking the support that they need. That's why we have this theme for this year, BTL Fest, is Let's Get Talking. 
We want to encourage persons with mental health conditions to share their stories of strength, share their journey towards recovery and the resilience that they have to let and for those of us who are coping or who have recovered or who have done well, let everyone know that they are not alone. Help is available and we are willing to reach out. There are many, many stories that we can tell that exemplify the power of a supportive community. But if you have a condition, post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, bipolar disorder, you have significant challenges with your mental health, and you have significant challenges in engaging with the support, the help, the structures, and the processes that are out there. Understanding the stories of people who are like you going through similar challenges, or stories of people who have gone through those challenges towards recovery and resilience helps. It helps, helps you understand the benefits of counseling. It helps in, in encouraging you to seek therapy, in learning that the coping skills that you're starting to develop will make a difference. And that you can find success in your career as you journey through this process. Speaking of careers with the backing of supportive employers, these individuals are often able to discuss their mental health challenges openly in the workplace and potentially inspire others in the workplace to seek help as well. This group of experiences for those who have sought help, who have overcome their struggles, it reflects a broader truth for many people who have mental health conditions. It underscores the importance of the openness, the ability to seek support, and, as I mentioned, particularly in the workplace, where usually everything is tilted in the other direction, to pretend that there's nothing wrong, to continue to soldier on, to hide the challenges that you may have internally in case someone finds out. We need to move in the other direction, to remind people should have to wait until you reach a breaking point before seeking assistance. Reaching out early can make the journey to recovery much more manageable and it can make the process much easier to deal with. It's always good to be okay to ask for support at any stage of your journey of resilience and your journey towards recovery. Today, we are also coming together to recognize the power of collaboration in achieving our common goal. The BTL Collective plays a pivotal role. It's a convener within the mental health space. It has driven partnerships that have led to impactful initiatives. And these initiatives have driven the conversation forward and break down the barriers, the stigma, the hesitance to seeking support for mental health. For instance, the Collective is partnering companies and the National University of Singapore organizations like A-Star, enterprises like Forward Coffee, to spotlight best practices, to empower leaders to create inclusive, mentally supportive environments through workshops and dialogues. The Collective has a diverse range of partners, NCSS, Intellect, Touch, the Singapore Association for Mental Health, the Singapore Anglican Community Services, Singapore National Employers Federation, Workplace Safety and Health Council, Care Quarter, and the Singapore Mental Health Film Festival. All of these efforts, all of these programs are aligned to the National Mental Health and Wellbeing Strategy to improve literacy and reduce stigma around mental health, in particular in the workplaces, and to enhance the support for employers in employing persons with mental health conditions. Workplaces are important we are also increasing our outreach to the young Singaporeans, the younger parts of our audience. The collective will, the BTL collective, will continue to increase the outreach to the young by partnering 10 primary schools to pilot a BTL mental wellness talk to increase mental health literacy, encourage help-seeking behaviors among students. You can imagine to do it in a primary school is not so straightforward. You have to deal with the uncertainty of that age group, uh, the expectations of parents, the families. So they are piloting this program 
trying to work out how best to do a mental wellness talk in their assemblies and engage the younger students. For the young, but not so young, slightly older, within our institutes of higher learning, the BTL Collective is partnering 240 youth peer supporters at two institutions, uh, the, at Timasek Poly and Republic Poly. The, these 240 youth peer supporters are members of a work group involving these two polytechnics, and they will roll out a road show to educate youths on the barriers to health seeking and to mental health support in the community. So these efforts, primary schools, older students, these are synergistic. We want our children as they go through our educational system to understand that they can be involved in this and that there is a benefit to partnership and collaboration in fostering a more inclusive and mentally healthy society. In doing so, these students and many of us no longer studying will need resources about what is the best practice, what should we be doing, where is help available. And there are many mental health resources available here in Singapore. And we want to make it even easier for people to navigate these resources. Starting on the 1st of January 2025, the current users of Bell, the Beyond the Label Help Bot, will be directed to mindline.sg. So there they can access a self-assessment tool, you go through some questions, you answer some of these questions, provide some information, and this allows a certain direction and advice, where can I go to find the relevant mental health resources and services for me on the basis of that assessment. You can also access a community forum, aptly named Let's Talk, uh, this is also accessible through mindline.sg and it allows users to have a safe space for conversations about mental health with like-minded individuals and professional therapists, but all done online and anonymously. So with all of these resources, help is it's not even a click away. You, they're on, it's on your phone, it's in your pocket, and you can access a wide variety of help, whether it's PDFs, written documents, or actual connection to a person who can help you understand what you're going through. We recognize that everyone has different preferences when it comes to seeking support. So there's no one size fits all. Not everybody wants to look at it on a website. Not everybody wants to engage with a chatbot. And maybe not everybody wants to speak to a person. We have to make available all of these channels and resources at the same time. But for those who appreciate the personal interaction, I'm in that category. We have introduced in-person services through our community outreach team, press and chat. For those who prefer to call or text, the Ministry of Health will be launching the National Mental Health Helpline and Text Line in 2025. So you have an in-person and you have an online version. Direct connection with someone who can help you. So, with all of this, and with the partners represented here and as part of our collective, we're committed to prioritizing mental health. We will empower individuals to seek help without hesitation. But you know that we are not doing this by ourselves, we cannot do this by ourselves. Just as we have to reach out to many organizations and bring them into the collective, each of us individually can reach out to friends, family members, colleagues at the workplace. What can we do? Well, say hello, offer yourself to listen and listen without judgment. Offer your support for the challenges they're going through. Share the information about where resources are available. Understand, let them understand that you are aware of mental health issues. These are small steps. But collectively, these small steps add up to an understanding, a ripple effect, and a social change in our community around what mental health represents and how we can help our friends, our families, our clients, and our patients. In closing, I'd like to extend my heartfelt thanks to the BTL Organizing Committee, the venue sponsors, Jewel Changi Group, and all the partners for their unwavering support 
And once again, thank you very much to President and Ms. Jane Atoki for supporting this important cause for many years, many years to come as well. Together, let's continue this important journey of improving and strengthening the mental health ecosystem in Singapore. Thank you all very much, and let's get talking. Thank you. Thank you very much.